Hey everyone, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you are having a fantastic weekend. I've got a great topic that I want to talk to you about today and it's one that has caused some problems in comment sections in the past, namely regular mainstream automakers and what you think it would take for you to treat them seriously when it comes to electric vehicles. We're often seeing in the comments section that people are saying, well, if this company, company A or company B, was really serious about electric vehicles, they do this, this, and this. And it came back to the forefront of my mind this week when Volkswagen unveiled the brand new Golf, the new next generation Golf. It's offering a choice of different engines. It's gonna have two plug-in hybrid variants, but nowhere in the press release did it mention an all electric model. And that was a surprise for me because I'd thought that there was gonna be an all electric Golf continued. And if there is an all electric Golf coming, I wanted to know why it wasn't mentioned in the press release. Now, I have reached out to Volkswagen for comment. I haven't heard anything back at the time of filming this, but it kind of made me think, okay, well, can we take this company seriously? Well, yes, it's invested a lot of money in EV production. It's bringing the ID3 to market. And I genuinely think personally that yes, Volkswagen is serious about making electric vehicles. That doesn't mean that it's going to stop producing internal combustion engine vehicles, which personally, I, I understand it from a business perspective because Volkswagen, like any other automaker, needs to continue to make money. But in a week where Tesla posted really good profits, um, not great profits, but it, it had a good financial report. You know, it made profits in the third quarter. It made me think, OK, that the days of saying that electric vehicles are not profitable are, are, have, have gone. Volkswagen said a couple of weeks ago it wasn't worried about losing profits because of electric vehicles. It felt that it could make a profit with electric vehicles. And so, yeah, new Golf no electric model mentioned, at least not in the press release material. Why is that? There are other car companies as well who seem to have this kind of duality. On one side, yeah, we're going to make all of these electric models. And on the other side, yeah, we're going to make all of these new petrol and diesel models. And again, I can understand from an industry point of view, I can understand from a business point of view why they might want to make that transition slowly. But I know some of you guys feel differently. So what I want to hear from you is what it would take for you to acknowledge that a particular automaker or not is making a path towards electric vehicles. There are some car companies that I personally view as really being serious about electric vehicles moving forward. Um, Volkswagen is on the list. I think Ford is serious based on some of the communications I've seen from Ford recently. Audi appears to be serious about it. Porsche seems to be serious about it. Um, General Motors appears to be serious about it. Fiat Chrysler, no. Uh, Nissan, maybe not as serious as it once appeared. I don't know about Nissan anymore, and that makes me feel a little sad because for a long time, Nissan was right at the front of its electric vehicle program. Um, Renault seems to be serious about electric vehicles. So for me, there are some things that I, in my head, go, okay, this company is serious about electric vehicles, and it normally boils down to has this company spent a lot of time and money working on this technology and or have they invested in other companies or are they buying in the technology and committing to serial production of a vehicle some people might watch this and go yeah but ford's not made that vehicle yet and you're right la auto show next month we will see ford's first mass-produced long-range electric vehicle in the form of this Mustang inspired SUV. We still don't know the name of it. I am going to the launch event. I'm going to be a guest of Ford there. I won't be able to talk about it, obviously, until the launch. But all we know at this point is there is a vehicle coming. That That is genuinely all I know at the time I'm recording this. I'm going to uh, Germany in a couple of weeks to see the vehicle. And then I'll be at the LA Auto Show premiere. And again, that, that's all I know. That's all I'm telling you right now that I'm going and doing it, but that's it. Um, other companies less, so I mean, Toyota doesn't seem to be really serious about electric vehicles. It's making these small city electric vehicles, but it really is still focusing very heavily on hydrogen and that's what it's doing. So I want to know from you, 
you know, I've been in the auto industry for a really long time. And so my expectations of what denotes a car company being serious are different probably to what you denote as being serious as a buyer. So let me know in the comments below. Tell me the companies that you think are being serious and the ones that aren't. Um, and we'll have a discussion. Keep it civil. I don't want any, you know, bashing anyone who isn't Tesla because that's not cool. Um, everybody should be working together to promote electric vehicles. And at the end of the day, if someone buys a Tesla or they buy, you know, an electric Volkswagen ID3, I don't care which of those they buy. I'm more interested that they're buying an electric vehicle or, or a greener vehicle. So anyway, leave your thoughts below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Support us using the links below. Just to clarify, a lot of people have been asking, oh, well, why are you asking for help for the LA Auto Show? We're asking help for the crew for the LA Auto Show. So Ford, as a guest of Ford, um, as is normally the case when a journalist is invited to an event by a car company, they will pay for my um, flights. They will pay for my accommodation while I'm there. Um, the Ford event ends just before the LA Auto Show, however. So while we've got our flight covered there for that bit, I need to get the other two members of the team who are going to LA there at the same time. And I also need to pay for the accommodation while we're in LA. So that's why we're asking for that. Um, and visit our swag store because we've got some cool swag. You should totally check it out. Have a good rest of the weekend and I'll see you next week. Keep evolving.